Due to its massive size, China as a tourist destination provides an almost limitless number of exploration choices. Whether you want to cruise through the Yangtze Gorges on a luxury cruise liner, or visit an active city, or maybe seek out the serenity of an ancient temple, this country is full of wonderful experiences and sightseeing opportunities. And that's why in today's video, we bring you the 10 best places to visit in China. In this video, you'll discover fascinating, unusual, and adventurous things to do and places to go on your next trip to China. So sit back, relax, and ensure that you stick around till the end, because this promises to be a fantastic experience. Travel Goals brings you the best in travel destinations, travel tips, and accommodations around the world. Before we dive in, please remember to hit the like button and maybe press the notification bell as well, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And without any further ado, let's dive right into the video. Number 10. Beijing Beijing is a city that where you can truly experience the best of China. With its blend of old and new, if you're into architecture and sport, you should definitely see the bird's nest and water cube in Beijing Olympic Park. Or if you want to learn more about modern-day China and its people, check out the National Museum. If you're looking for a fun night out in the town, check out San Litun. San Litun is an area of Chaoyang District, Beijing, containing many bars, restaurants, and stores. It's a very popular destination for shopping, dining, and entertainment. For those who just want to get away from it all and see some incredible sights, you should head over to Tiananmen Square for their flag-raising ceremony. It's like nothing else. The Great Wall of China, the world's longest wall and an awe-inspiring achievement of ancient engineering, is one of the country's most famous symbols. Most tourists believe that if you haven't scaled the Great Wall, you haven't visited China. Its crooked road gives some spectacular views as it passes through rugged landscape and high mountains. Little wonder it's been named one of China's new Seven Wonders of the World and UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The wall stretches over 5,000 kilometers, or 3,100 miles, from China's western border to the east coast. But the most integrated and well-preserved sections are close to Beijing. The summertime is a great opportunity to drop by the Landio Lavender Garden when it's in full blossom. Situated in the Chaoyang region of Beijing, the city's nearby the city's fundamental attractions. Number 9. The Li River in Guilin and Yangshuo Artists have always been drawn to the karst environment near the Li River. Nature there has inspired generations of Chinese painters and poets, who have used their pens and brushes to paint the breathtaking surroundings. It is now a popular photography location. The Li River and Yangshuo come to mind when Chinese tourists think of natural beauty. The most spectacular thing about Li River is how it extends 83 kilometers between Guilin and Yangshuo. The riverbank is lined by bamboo forests and is endowed with stunning hills, rocky cliffs, and farming communities. National Geographic magazine in the United States named the Li River one of the world's top 10 watery wonders. You can attempt to use a SUP, stand-up paddleboard, also known as a tiny raft, on the Yulong River, a bamboo raft, a bicycle excursion through the countryside, or an adventurous drive in an all-terrain vehicle. Number 8. Chengdu The enormous pandas in Chengdu are cherished not only by Chinese people, but also by many foreigners and kids, too. Although there are several zoos in China and worldwide where you see a huge panda, Chengdu, the giant panda's hometown, is the perfect place to see one. Chengdu Panda Breeding and Research Center Dujiangjiang Panda Valley and Bifengjia Panda Base are three places where you can see pandas up close. If you're looking for an adventure that combines history with nature, then this is definitely the place that you're going to want to go. You can visit Mount Demei, a mountain that's around 1,500 meters high, and it actually has two peaks, the North Peak and the South Peak. It's one of the four sacred Buddhist mountains in China. It's also home to a giant Buddha statue called the Leshan Giant Buddha, which is carved into the cliff's face and measures 73 meters high. 
that's more than twice as tall as a Statue of Liberty. The Lashan Giant Buddha was carved during the Tang Dynasty, between 618 to 907, which makes it one of the oldest statues in China. Li Zhong Li Zhong is a, is, is a famous area for its lakes and beautiful mountain scenery. The architecture of Li Zhong is truly one of a kind, and it blends traditional Chinese styles with Western influences and modern technology. One of the most popular tourist attractions in Li Zhong is the Lugu Lake. The lake itself is a photographer's dream, and it's nestled between two mountains that look like they are straight out of a fantasy film. Lao Jun Mountain and Yulong Snow Mountain. You can take a cable car up to the side of Lao Jun Mountain or hike up if you're feeling particularly adventurous. Jade Dragon Snow Mountain holds a special place in the hearts of the Naxi people. The mountain's most beautiful scenery includes glaciers, canyons, waterfalls, and colorful azelas blooming at various elevations, which makes it an excellent hiking location. To get a closer look at the mountain's beauty and feel its magnificence, skip the cable cars and climb it step by step. Li Zhong Impression Show takes place every evening around sunset at 4 p.m. out in front of the Lao Jun Temple on the lake shore, and it's one activity you wouldn't want to miss. It's a great way to see the, how the locals celebrate their culture and traditions. Number 6. Yunnan Yuanyang Rice Terraces these are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and they're one of the most scenic places on Earth. It's also one of the best places to see the stunning Tiger Leaping Gorge, which is considered one of the world's deepest canyons. The views are incredible in Yunnan, and there's a lot of things to do here while, you know, you're visiting. Hiking on the Meili Snow Mountain Trails or exploring Den 99 Dragon Pool. You could also check out Stone Treasure Mountain, Shiboshan, or Kangshan Mountains. They're not that far away either. The Three Pagodas is an ancient Buddhist temple that's been standing since the 9th century. Kyongzu Temple is another ancient temple nearby that dates back even further than that. This was built during the Tang Dynasty, which again was 618 to 907 AD. But it has since been renovated multiple times over. These are some of China's most unique landscapes. A trip to China without visiting them would just be a waste. Number 5. Tibet Tibet is a land of contrasts. It's home to some of the world's most breathtaking and natural wonders that you just wouldn't want to miss out on. There's Mount Everest. You probably know it as the highest mountain in the world, but did you know it's also considered a sacred place? The Sherpa people believe that their ancestors live at its peak, so they wear colorful clothing and they make offerings to them there. There are the monks at Sera Monastery. Every morning and afternoon, they gather to debate Buddhist philosophy. It's not just interesting to watch, it's also a great way to learn more about Buddhist culture. If you'd rather just enjoy nature, then Lake Yamdrok is your spot. Some great trails around it lead through beautiful forests and past waterfalls. Tibet's Putala Palace is a national symbol. It's an amazing treasure building of Tibetan history, religion, culture, and art resources and publications. And finally, Laigu Glacier. This giant glacier is located right at the base of Mount Kailash Yatra, the holy mountain for pilgrims from all over Tibet and India alike. Number 4. Yading Nature Preserve Because of its beautiful natural environment, Daocheng Yading Nature Reserve is known as the last pure land on Earth and the last Shangri-La. It is home to the three holy mountains of Chen Resig, Compassion, rising to 6,032 meters or 19,790 feet, Chana Dorje, Power, and Jampelyang, Wisdom, which both stand at 5,958 meters or 19,547 feet. You should consider visiting Milk Lake and Five Color Lake. Dan Senkuo Lake. The legend says that these two lakes were created when an immortal dropped his magic bottle while riding a cloud. The bottles then fell into the ground, creating these two great lakes. Don't miss the Pearl Lake, known as Heavenly Lake. It's famous for its beautiful scenery and clear water. If you look closely, you can even see fossils at the bottom. Number 3. Huangshan. 
Yellow Mountains. The Yellow Mountain scenic area, located in East China near Shanghai and Hangzhou, attracts visitors with its five wonders sunrises, sea of clouds, oddly shaped rocks, twisted pine trees, and hot springs. The Yellow Mountains, together with Zhongzhizhai National Forest Park and Zhu Zaigao National Forest Park are China's most iconic mountains and one of the country's three best national parks. Yellow Mountain National Park is easier to get to than the other two national parks, and it's also more popular and crowded. Villages nearby, such as Hongkun Village, were previously thought to be ancient China's paradise. In its breathtaking environment, the village resembles a Chinese artwork. In the spring, canola flowers are seen. Zhu Zaigao in Sichuan Province, West China, is prominent for its rainbow lakes and autumn vegetation, while Zhang Jiaji in National Forest Park is known for its huge rock pillars. Consider visiting all of them if you want to see world-class landscapes. Number 2. Hong Kong Hong Kong is a city with lush green parks, beautiful temples, and bustling markets all within walking distance of one another. Do you want to relax? Well, then definitely visit one of these beautiful beaches. Long Ke Wan, Tai Long Sai Wan, Hong Xing Yi Beach, Repulse Bay Beach, Chung Sa Beach, and then there's Chi Lin Nunnery, a large Buddhist temple located in Diamond Hill, Hong Kong. And Admiralty, a bustling area filled with skyscrapers, restaurants, and shopping malls. If you're feeling adventurous, you can climb Lion Rock, or Lion Rock, the tallest mountain in Hong Kong. Or take a ferry out to Victoria Harbor for some shopping or some dining on Causeway Bay. The view from Victoria Peak of Victoria Harbor is to Hong Kong what climbing the Great Wall is to China. It provides an iconic view of Hong Kong's high rise to success and riches. Scenery is particularly beautiful at night when the symphony of lights from various buildings dance in unison. You can visit Nan Lian Garden, which was built by an early Chinese immigrant as a replica of his hometown village in China. Number 1. Hongzhou Hongzhou is a city in eastern China, and it's also known as China's heaven on earth. It's famous for its beautifully designed scenery and natural wonders like the Pagoda of the Six Harmonies, Canals of Wuzhen Water Village, Running Tiger Spring, and Qiando Lake. The Pagoda of Six Harmonies is a stunning Buddhist temple that dates back to the 6th century. It stands at over 100 feet tall and is covered in carvings of Buddha and other deities that protect the pagoda from evil spirits. The canals of Wu Zhen Water Village are made up of more than 30 different canals that were built by locals during the Qing Dynasty. Running Tiger Spring is a hot water with water that originates from deep within the earth. It's said that it contains healing properties for your body, your mind, and your spirit. Qiando Lake is an artificial lake created by dams along tributaries of the Zhang River, the largest lake in Zhejiang Province. And there you have it, the 10 best places for tourist attractions in China. So, what are your thoughts on these fascinating destinations in China? Do share them in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos like this. We've got a lot of stuff coming your way, so stay tuned. See you in the next one, guys. Later.